Hello people, it's Fox, and welcome to the Thanksgiving special of my video, and I want to give thanks for my subscribers and discount liquor. Anyway, today I'm going to be opening the Pokemon lunch treasure chest box thing. They call it a treasure chest, but it's a lunch box with a handle design. Yes, today uh, I'll be opening this. This thing is actually quite heavy. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, it costs $25. It's a fairly good price for what you get in it, uh, which is five packs and a bunch of other stuff. So let's give this little baby a crack open and uh, then I can go enjoy my turkey. My wild, wild turkey. Anyway, open this son of a bitch up. There we go. Toss out the garbage because we don't care. And we're left with the lunchbox. I have a, I opened one of these before. I think it was last year. They usually do this during Christmas. And uh, the lunchbox is actually pretty good. I use it to store like art supplies and stuff. So that's my phone. Ignore it because it's a bastard. Um, so let's open this up. See what we get. Got in the video. I had a phone call. Anyway, so yes, the lunchbox is actually packaged pretty well. Packaged in a way where it looks like it'll survive a good trip. All right, so we got a pack of Roaring Skies, Primal Clash. Two breakthroughs and an Eastern Origins pack. So five packs. Pretty good so far. Pull this out. We got some pencils, because you never you can never have enough pencils with Pikachu on them. Look at that tail. Look, look at that Pikachu. Uh, they're probably HB or F pencils. Or number two pencils, you might know it. Uh, probably good. That eraser looks like it's shit. <laughs> uh, we get stickers, which I'm always supportive of. Oh, okay, I like that pad. Uh, yeah. Always say, give them more stickers. Pokemon should give way more stickers. They are really, really cool. Put these on my binder later. We have a uh, Hoopa EX, I believe. Then we got our Mega Hoopa. And they got Mega Rayquaza. Then you just got a nice little cute Pikachu and a Hoopa. I believe these have the same name. I don't really remember. So sweet. Stickers. I always love those. This really big pa uh, writing pad, which... Huh. Okay, there you go. It's nice. It's it's white enough. You can kind of sketch on this a little bit. Maybe I'll use this as a life pad counter for magic. Yeah, I approve of this. This is good. Paper feels pretty good. Nice. All right, Pokemon's doing some nice stuff. And you get the binder. Um, I also saw Target. They have like the holiday stocking stuff or things where you get a binder and a pack. I might do like two of those because I usually end up giving away the binders because people really like them. I give the binders away to my friends anyway, not not online. I don't do online giveaways. You get a binder, I believe it holds like 60 cards or so. And I've seen these things uh, hold up pretty well. They will hold 60 cards. I don't know if sleeved cards, but they'll hold, they'll definitely hold 60 unsleeved cards fairly well. They're pretty well built, so yeah. Then you got Mega Rayquaza and Mega Hoopa, and then Hoopa and Pikachu on the back. All right, and let me not give away the code card. Oh, there we go. Then we got Pikachu. This probably should have been packaged this way. Or maybe not, I don't know. You got a, oh, okay. We actually have a relevant coin. Instead of just some random crappy coin that makes no sense. It's an actual Hoopa coin, so. Relevance. You need it. And we got a foil Hoopa, foil Pikachu, and a foil chest pin for some. Oh my god, I was going to say that's a pointless chest pin, but then I saw the art. Oh my god, look at that art. It's so cute, I just want to eat it. Not really, because cards are made of poison. Okay, for real, that's that's got to be one of my favorite arts. Oh, it's so freaking cute. Probably gonna cut that. I, I showed the code. I probably cut that out. Then you got Hoopa. It looks cool, but no, they don't. They don't hold a candle to the cuteness that is Chasepin. You just don't hold a candle to that cute. All right, I approve of that Chasepin. That's warm my heart. And then of course you got the lunchbox, which, as I said before, I use for art supplies. Uh, pretty good. I'm sure if you're a kid and you go to school with lunch, this will be pretty cool to take around with you. It doesn't come with a thermos, which would be kind of neat, but altogether pointless for a card tin. Um, don't actually put your cards in here, because they have like these little uh, folded-in edges that will get cards trapped, and I'll sh make, show you an example. I'm going to get like, trapped inside there, or maybe not, and I'm an idiot. But yeah, don't risk it. Like The cards can sometimes get trapped inside these little folded-over edges. Um, pretty good to put deck boxes in though. You could probably fit a good amount of deck boxes. Alright, so I approve of practically everything here. The mouse pad's great. Uh, mouse pad. The paper pad's great. I always approve of stickers. Give more stickers. Book's good. Pencils probably suck, but hey, they're neat. Relevant coin, which is a good plus for me. Uh, then you got Pikachu, and you got Hoopa, then you got Chase Pin. Yeah, so cute. 
And then of course five packs, which is where all the value hopefully is. So let's get on to that. Hopefully I provided a little time link to skip to this. And we're gonna start we're gonna start with uh we'll do older to newer. I think Primal Clash, Roaring Skies, Ancient Origins, and the 80s. I think that's the order. Could be wrong. I think no, I think Primal Clash came before. I don't know base. I'm probably wrong, but at any rate, whatever. This code card I will not I will not uh cut out. I will give it to you. I really wish that was an S instead of an 8. Then it could have been an SP. And just sex party. Alright. Starting off with a tentacle. Or uh, Ancient Origin tentacle. Bunnelby. Uh, we didn't go 3 for 3 on the uh, half arts. Neat Arena. Clam Pearl. Much respect to Clam Pearl. Metatite. Metatite. Did I say it right? Yeah, I did. Tentacool. Vulpix. Corfish. Reverse Kingdra. That looks awesome. And a regular Kingdra. Not as awesome as the Ancient Origin Kingdra. Oh, I, I thought they did the same thing, actually. But still, double Kingdra. That reminds me of my Kingar days. When I played Pokemon, I had a Kingdra Gengar deck, which was awesome. Alright, moving on to Roaring Skies. Yeah, there's a code card. doesn't say Fox on it. It's not a Thanksgiving miracle. Maybe Christmas. Get a Manentric, Electrode, Unpheasant, which we're all going to eat. Actually, no. Unpheasant's probably a pheasant. Still eat it. Togepi. Shoop it, Gligar, Binacle, Meowth, just passionately, relentlessly. J this is just a porno sex move right here of him just fucking that berry to unknowingly pleasurable amounts. Pikachu, and then, ooh, Dragonite. Really wish that was foil. That would have been really neat. But I love the art on that. Good shading. We're, we're just going to put uh, the molestation of that berry up front. So you can all see Meowth's perversions. Alright, moving on to Ancient Origins. I'm going to get so many comments saying, the fuck is wrong with you, fucks? Alright, uh, there's a code card if you want it. Tell me what you get. If you get something good, I want half. Alright, starting off with a Sceptile Spirit Link. And Sceptile showing off his butt. Rotom. Dangerous Energy. Gotta stay away from that one. That's nuclear. Combi. Quagsire. Plane. And I hope Mud. Baltoy. Spin Rack. Meowth, aft, a post berry fucking. Reverse ball toy and a Registeel. Nothing foil yet, with the exception of reverse foils. So we haven't gotten anything good yet. But uh, okay, we're just going to put uh, post coitus Meowth over here. <laughs> I was really trying hard not to laugh at my own stupid jokes. Breakthrough. So in this one, they have uh, the last video I did with Breakthrough, uh, you mentioned to me that getting a break and an EX is fairly uncommon uh, actually it's fairly rare uh, the ones I got weren't really good but still it is fairly uncommon to get both in one pack so let's do it again there you go there's a code to the front all right starting off with Quilladin, Swoobat, Go Goat, Cyndaquil, oh that's cute, Spritzy, Remoraid, uh, Axew, Woobat, Judge so no break but no foil either. Damn, we got nothing in this thing. There's a judge. Each player shuffles her hand into her deck and draw force card. Oh, oh, it's. I was about to say it's a reprint of Judge. I was going to say it's a functional reprint of Judge. No, it's just a straight reprint of Judge. I remember Judge. I don't know why I read it. Uh, yeah, this card was really good. Probably still is. And in reverse, I'm sure it's worth something. I do prefer the old art, though. I believe it was Heart Gold, Soul Silver. One of those sets they pretty good. All right, last pack. La yeah, last pack. A breakthrough. Here's a code card. DHR. Don't know. Sounds like some drug from Shadowrun. All right, last pack. We got Grand Bull, Pillow Swine, Assault Vest. Okay, a AKA Raider Armor from Fallout. Froki. Zero. Oh, they were finished Zero uh, with a bow on his head or her head. Assuming that's a girl. Chase Bin. Trying to get me out another berry. Another Chase Bin. Rufflet. Super Rod, and fuck, oh, this tin sucked. Knocked out. Well, it sucked as far as pulls go. We didn't get anything good at all. So, yeah, the pulls suck, but the tin is really good. Um, if you want to get it as kind of a holiday gift, strongly recommend it. It's $25. Pretty much worth it. You get a good amount of stuff. Uh, and, again, stickers are awesome. Packs are awesome. Pencils probably suck, but there you go. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later more videos. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy holidays. And, of course, Hanukkah Zombie. I don't know why I said that. I just felt like saying it. Bye now.